probably <laughs> clarify for the viewers that Owen is okay. He's just not here. Yeah, yeah. actually, yes. Well. Shout out to the man in the box. I have <laughs> yeah. not seen him. I don't know. He's fine. He's fine. Oh, one, two, three. Yeah. Coffee Street. If anyone's if looking for him, you can stop. Yeah. Yeah. Stop, stop looking. Fine. Stop looking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> please, please stop. If you've seen any Owen sightings, please. <laughs> Owen, please come back. <laughs> We're sorry. Mommy misses you. <laughs> No, this is bad. <laughs> Owen is perfectly fine. He's in good health, almost. Yeah. <laughs> well, as good as he ever is. <laughs> yeah. He's in good health, which we aren't. <laughs> because we're talking about burnout. <laughs> <laughs> good intro. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Serious. This is, this is your topic, Eilish. Yes. Hit, hit us up. This please. is my topic. Introduce. Yeah. In, do, do I have to do an intro now? Or do I, I, just I think we just did you? the intro. Yeah. Okay, okay, you're introduced. Yeah. <laughs> um, basically, you as... People who now work for yourself, you work for yourself now. You've worked for yourself for 11 years, as you just told me very aggressively. Mm. Don't, don't go fast check 12, yourself. Actually, it was 12. Did you say 12? 12? That's it's the same 12, number yeah. to me. Jesus. Um, <laughs> okay, so Jeff, I want to know how many times you've experienced burnout and how you've experienced it. And you, as a person who is finally taking a holiday, finally, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Wait, you're um, taking a holiday? A week. Oh, okay. Uh, for for how long before this uh, I can put this out? <laughs> 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 Exclusive. No, it's too no late. She's already back. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So I guess Jeff, if you want to start. Yeah. Um. It's a difficult one because I think if you are burnt out, you don't know you're burnt out. That's mm-hmm. the big uh, starting point. Mm-hmm. And also, I don't really enjoy downtime. Mm. I'm the world's worst. I mean, Jesus, look what we're all mm. doing here right now, mm. you know? I have two businesses, two kids, and yet I'm yeah. finding time to do this and the podcast and some other projects. Um, I think you need to make sure that you also still give time to yourself because mm. it's very, very easy to be consumed by a business. Mm-hmm. And that can be great. And in some ways, it's necessary, and especially if you're opening a new business and you want it to be successful. But you have to be careful that you don't become the business because a lot of people think as um, owners or employers that the smart thing to do is to work really hard all the time. But then you become so integral to the success of the business mm. that if anything happens to you, you are rightly screwed. Yeah. And unless you're very good at delegating to staff and actually allowing them to do things, then what happens is they're not going to take up those responsibilities mm-hmm. because they know well that either you're going to do it. Yeah. Or you're going to give out to them for not doing it properly. Yeah. You know? And I think we probably all experience micromanagement at some point. <laughs> so we all know what that's like, you know? Um, and it now gives uh, out to himself yeah, just to yeah. keep the vibes yeah. the same. <laughs> I told you yeah, so yeah. many times. I miss, yeah, I miss up so much. You leave the order. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm a psycho. <laughs> you just stand in the corner and scream yeah. out to yourself. How many times do we have to go over this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Following on from Ender's How to Make Coffee book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you probably, like, you came into this at a strange time in everyone's mm. lives, in a strange time in your own life, and then went from zero to a, quite a heavy level of mm. intensity very mm. quickly. Mm. So I'm sure you have a bit of insight as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, have, yeah. You, have you burnt out or felt like you've been worn really thin in jobs that weren't your own business before good question i uh, there's a different level of it mm-hmm. once you are an owner of a business yeah or managing like when you work in a in a place and you're not like you're just there to work mm-hmm. you get burnt out because they probably overwork you mm-hmm. as in you work like 14 to 14 days do you know um or crazy long hours mm-hmm. um that's yeah definitely get burnt out with that uh and you more get just frustration of your manager or the owners Mm -hmm. um and you're like how can they treat you like this or you know is this the kind of business they want to have Mm -hmm. but when you're the business owner not now i'm not differentiate well i I am different (laughs) but i'm not saying one is you're not justifying it either yeah yeah yeah. um they're both equally valid and shouldn't happen yeah um but when you're the business owner the only person you have to blame is, is yourself, yourself. Uh, and you're the one putting yourself there. Mm-hmm. And like you said, it's very easy to become obsessive. And like you said, when um, before we struggled to 
take a second day off in a row mm. and you're like separation anxiety and i was like absolutely wow. separation anxiety wow. because it's a, a new business you wanted to do well we've literally chucked everything at it um and we went from zero to 150 um, percent yes. pretty much overnight and yeah. uh it was great because it was something to do at the start yeah. it's exciting at the start but then soon enough like your body can't cope yeah. mentally physically in every way and and you're a lot younger than me <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> um and there's definitely a generational mentality to it like when yeah. i talk to my parents or my uncles and stuff like that they're like what do you mean you feel tired you should be there working all the time it's yeah. your business there's definitely and I, and I feel as you know as time moves forward um we are more coming to terms with burnout and we're being more aware of mm. it um and hopefully we are turning the tides in a positive way yeah. and laura and i are definitely uh we've gone through lots of cycles i feel like it goes in cycles there is definitely a peak burnout where you're like i hate this yeah. i can't do this anymore and then you need to do something either get away by yourself mm. i like go for a i cycle a lot <coughs> uh by myself or listen to podcasts or go for a walk i like to be by myself mm. um and that's definitely something that helps but um and then it'll go into a cycle a wave where it just goes yeah this is great i'm not burnt out at all and then you can just feel it like something yeah. will snap and you're yeah. like oh i'm so burnt <laughs> out um so yeah it's been a roller coaster actually a roller coaster and laura and i both know something has to change yeah. because it's not sustainable yeah um and that's the thing yeah. like um I'm saying we've, we've hit sustainability Alicia's favorite topic yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. good segue I just yeah. like come out of the woodwork I'm like hello you call <laughs> um, yeah. no but I actually had um, a meeting with my bosses um, a couple of weeks ago and like thankfully they have that kind of n like newer mentality of like you know looking at employees and people as like a whole and you know as people as people it's really shocking it's very thought. weird uh, yeah. i'm worried about them <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell them to they, they greet me and they look me in my eyes and i'm like what's happening <laughs> like um, but yeah like that that whole conversation was kind of centered around like you know i want to show up all the time i want to be there all the time i'm obsessed with my job i love it there um but I love it there and I want to be there for ages and ages. And that's just really so deeply not realistic when you're burning yourself through and when you're getting to that thing of like, you know, I at least have two days off, you have one day off. Mm. And I'm sure, I know you guys are working that day. Like mm. you don't have any days off. But like in those kind of days off that you take, when you're realizing that you're not even getting to just rest it, it's not that you're like, you know, theoretically like having a day to rest and then having a day to do things you're like barely or not at all getting to that point where you feel kind of okay and then going into the next week it's just like okay there's like a, a I, something's depleting now that's not recharging mm. in in my days off or whatever and that will eventually hit a deficit and then it's going to be like i'm going to start being really bad in work or I'm just not physically going to be able to keep showing up the way I <clears throat> want to or at all. And when, you know, sustainability, sustainability in terms of like, I can function for a long time. I can keep this up. You have to kind of take into account like the hours you're working, the expectations, how much time you have off, how much time, you know, I am the like the joke in work is that I don't, you know, they, they want me to take a holiday. I'm like, no, get away from me. I don't like, you know, Zara has chased me down the roastery being like, you can, this is a tiny roastery. You cannot escape. You need to go on holidays. This is why they're moving to a bigger <laughs> roastery. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> so I, I actually suggested that idea. So I have somewhere to run away to. Um, no, but it's like. It, the lake. I guess the, the, <laughs> I swim away. Well, that, that would be defeating the purpose that I'm not in the roastery. Um, but like, y you got to kind of, grow up a little bit at some point and realize that it doesn't mean that you love it more to be there every single day if that means like in the long term you're not gonna be able to be there at all but you see i think people have an issue separating that because mm. the realistic thing to do would be to take some time away and recharge and yeah. come back better at it <coughs> mm -hmm. which would be if you're that really invested you just yeah. could see it clearly but the signs will always manifest 
later in a mental facility than in a physical capacity. So you'll just put it down to being tired. Yeah. Your body is tired. Yes. But you won't realize the strain has already started to build up in your mind. Yeah. And that's when what will happen, as you said, you go through those cycles. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the, the positive ones might just be, Jesus, I actually got a decent night's sleep. Yeah. And suddenly your brain doesn't know what to do when you're mm. full of happy chemicals. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. And also that's a lot of coffee involved in our there jobs. Is. Yes. You're like, you know? I can just fix the burnout. I'm around yeah, caffeine yeah. all the time. Did you see our decaf post the last day? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Sorry. Sorry, I might have made a snark comment about that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, there was a lot of caffeine, so I needed to go decaf. <laughs> There enough. is a lot of caffeine in our job. There is. Um, there is, yeah. So I, I also think, you know, the differentiation both of you have made with, like, the physical side of it and the mental side of it, it is, like, something that I've noticed is my body will start giving out as, like, a okay, well, you're well able to just ignore the, like, mental signs of you, of you being stressed and just be like, no, it's fine. I'm mm. not making really stupid mistakes that I know that I shouldn't be making. It's fine. And then, you know... There's a bit of self heroism about it too, though, as well. Mm. Irish oh, people are particularly absolutely. good at that. Absolutely. I was going to say that. There Martyrdom. Is yeah. It's like, a, oh, yeah. I show up. Like, I, yeah. th I love doing that. I you love did 40 hours like, last week. Stop. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I show up every <laughs> single day, all blah, 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 blah. And then you feel like you're saving the day. I haven't had a holiday in five years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. It's awful. It yes. really is awful. Yes. And the thing is, is like, I took a couple of days, whenever that was, I know I told you guys, and then I just was here the whole time. <laughs> Um, Still mingling around coffee. Not in I don't know bark, when that though. was because I didn't see you in <laughs> oh, tree yeah, bark. Yeah, yeah. I don't know when that was. <laughs> wow, that's a. Uh, maybe I should leave this. <laughs> we should do. We should do an episode that's just that argument. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I. And I'll come in serving you cups of Cali. And I'll just <laughs> be delighted. You're gonna show delighted. up with your own Cali cups in tree bark. And no, use these ones. They're better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I took like four days off, and I came back, and it was like. I was like a completely different person. Like I was like a different person. It was insane. But it's also like, you know, four days. Like I, I've just had this effect where I've had two days off in a row. I'm like, Jesus, I'm on holidays. Mm, you know, yeah. I mean, like that's, that's, that's bad. when you know, okay. That's a serious sign. Yeah. 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 There's something deeply, deeply wrong here. Like, you yeah. know. It's not. Do you come back to work after you close sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. Well, today would be a great example. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this but isn't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He is uh, here of his own accord. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, He's the I'm, new okay. Owen. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm Owen. <laughs> um, what I would say is as well. So when Laura and I started this cafe, it was very much a not just starting a business. It was a lifestyle change mm -hmm. that we wanted. Mm -hmm. We wanted something dramatic, as in we were taught for our, like throughout our whole lives, what you do is you go to primary school, you go to secondary mm -hmm. school, you go to college, you get your degree, then you swift into a lovely brand, fantastic career, yeah. and then you retire all happy. This, in a way, I guess it was my brain forming a protest against it mm -hmm. um, in terms of like, you can dictate your life. Mm -hmm. And what's very ironic about it is our idealistic views of this business starting out. Today is very different to that. Yeah. <laughs> Like we have, we, we, we want to go against that, that general norm. We want to dictate what we do. Mm. We want to have a balanced life and work. Mm. Yeah, work-life balance. Um, but what we end up doing is working so much yeah. and not having any life at all yeah. and pretending like this was a lifestyle change. Yeah. Well, in actual fact, the hard reality is it is not at all. Yeah. We're doing exactly what, I don't know if it's like, we're raised to be this way. Mm. Like but you said, in the Irish the people. Yeah, and the casual influence of people who come into you every day who have the expectation that you need to, to be here. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah, exactly. as I would have experienced yeah. in the restaurant when I take a day off and someone else, someone would come in if you did and like, oh, I was here the day and you weren't here. As mm. if like it's an accusation. How dare of, you? Know, you? Yeah. You know? Face of the yeah. business. You have to be there yeah, all the time. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. And I think a burnout is also a good opportunity to take stock of what's happened mm. and what's happening and for you to reassess something is something is wrong yeah. in your life there is an imbalance so you need to change it mm. changing it is the key because it is very hard to do that and Laura, Laura and I are struggling with it working on it and trying to get back on track onto that lifestyle change that we want mm. as in a healthy lifestyle change so being in here not six days a week and not working on it seven days a week yeah. but actually having two days Maybe three. Three days. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Like, and I think, I think the general 
uh, population and, and the way it's going is it'll t probably take 20 years but we will get there mm. the four day work week yeah. we will definitely get there I think it's it's the way it's going to be it's going to be a slow process especially in Ireland yeah. because I, it's almost been indoctrinated into us yeah. to work and work and work mm. all the time I would say to be fair the flip side of that <coughs> is that a generational thing as you mentioned is that most of our parents probably didn't have the luxury or yes, the realities of absolutely. those choices mm. that they had to work mm. you know they, they had no choice left them but to take a job that they knew they could keep and that would be safe and that they could work hard at and earn the money and that's mm. that was their, their lives so I suppose in some ways maybe you can't blame them in that like they saw that as being successful and they yeah. helped raise a family so it worked so we should do it again and maybe and not to be ungenerous but maybe it's difficult for them to see people yeah, now exactly, yeah. getting the luxury of like like we've all changed like you've changed career completely yeah you know i've yeah. changed career completely mm. i mean times. by rights yeah we should all have i know. have i used to be a child and now <laughs> yeah, yeah well you're a writer <laughs> yeah. a successful writer oh. yeah so and now you're <laughs> nothing <laughs> <laughs> now i'm it was nothing. going so well yeah. i retired <laughs> and so now well. i'm on this podcast yeah, yeah. That's now you my work job. for calendar mm. <laughs> 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 Jack. love you dan's art yeah. <laughs> I'll be hearing about this yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Send me the audio file, Jack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, I think, I think the most powerful thing that people need to, and I'm saying this from my own perspective as well, is like, it's not, it's really just not that cool. It's like not that cool and interesting that you work really hard, really yeah. hard all the time. Yeah. yeah. And it's actually just like, you know, I, I have said to people before, about in terms of like work in general not specific to me but like that i want things to calm down so that my answer to every question is not like we're really busy because it mm. gets really boring mm, after yeah, a while yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah we yeah. are mm. we are really busy but it is kind of the only answer mm. um but when your only answer to like how are you doing oh i'm just working all the time blah blah, blah mm. it's like because you gotta you know, remember too like I, there was a danger I, I ended up doing this for a while in the restaurant and friends will give up on you after a while because you'll turn down every opportunity yeah. to go and do something you'll turn yeah. down every event and like okay there was the reality of the fact that it was a restaurant so weekends i had to work yeah. and it was a busy time which didn't help but i became all too easily um, sucked into that lifestyle of like yeah. i don't know i'll just work the weekend because it's yeah. busy and then i sat down one day like close to around when the kids were born and i looked at how long we'd left on the lease which was like close on 20 years and i worked to how many saturday nights i was gonna have to work and then i was like you know what this is not the best idea, mm. you know? Mm. Yeah. And also life changes can like be impactful. For me, the kids coming along was obviously yeah. what meant the change. Mm. You know, um, when, you're, when your two-year-old turns around to you and says, see you tomorrow, daddy, when you get up from the breakfast table because I left something in the car and she thought I was going to work and that was it. Oh, yeah. Then you go, right, That's okay, so you know what? You know, wow. it's, it's nice to think that you're doing this for your family or whatever, but the reality is that the best thing you do for your family it is be there, be like, there, you know? Mm. So I think what I would say on that is for anyone who is watching who does work for themselves or has friends who work for themselves, so watch out for that. You know, mm. sometimes they may, might need that trigger or someone to point out to them, not in an aggressive way. <laughs> 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 yeah. But, you know, just to let them know that, you know, you're still thinking about them or maybe they should consider their options, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm also quite glad to hear that, you know, you've been very earnest and honest here, to be fair, considering this is going out in a public forum. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you did run this by Laura, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We did. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just melt down now. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. She's, uh, yeah, she, she knows. But um, I think that's part of the, to be fair, it's part of the honesty of your business too as well. I think anyone who knows you guys and who's been coming here and has seen you guys online and the way you are, very much the face of the business and I know it's just the two E's so there's no other face to hide behind mm. but sometimes people will hide behind the face of the business but you're very open and out there about mm. your relationship with this and yourselves so mm. I think it's it's good for people to see that and realise that like it's important for you guys to be happy doing this as well yeah but, you know, but yeah. all of that is going to change now that they'll be able to hide behind the face of the new Cali pin <laughs> I did not pay her to, <laughs> to do that. <laughs> I swear. And that's just mine now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She gets to take one home. Okay, um, so yeah, that's a that's, good point. That's probably yeah. a pretty good place yeah. to wrap it up, I think, yeah. for now, because we could go on a long one on this. We could, yeah. 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 It's a very interesting topic, though, uh, and it's very universal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right, guys, thanks for joining us this week, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Bye.